Hi, this is a tutorial following on from the previous um, Excel tutorial, which was to open a text document. Um, now that we've opened one, and as you can see, it's fairly basic, it's got no formatting to it. I just wanted to go through how to format a spreadsheet, a spreadsheet correctly and what you would need to do um, to get some marks in the test. So the first thing that we need to do is just to remember that what the examiner is looking for is for something to be very easy to read, to be clear, um, and so they can look at it and just tell what information uh, has been um, clearly set out. So the first thing that we're going to do is just make sure that everything can be read. So as you can see here, there's text there that I can't quite read. So if you hover between your cell reference here and in between A and B there and just double click, you'll see that it extends the column um, and then you can read everything. And I'm just going to do that for all of them because it makes it bigger or smaller depending on what you need. There we go. And now that's a lot easier to read now. So that's the first thing. Um, the next thing is to make um, headings and anything that is indicative of what you're trying to display in the spreadsheet just to make it a bit more visible and a bit more readable. So what I'm going to do here is just make my titles bold there and that one there. And this is the kind of thing that you're marked on when you are asked to format a spreadsheet and when it says make sure it's presented clearly and correctly. Um, they are looking for things like how you've presented it and whether you've made it look particularly readable. Okay, so already I can see that that's quite um, bold and easy to read. So these are the survey questions as well, so I'm just going to make them italic there and possibly these as well. You can get as creative as you like. I mean, you don't want it to resemble something that's too colourful and, and then you formatted it to the point where it's gone um, kind of too, there's too much going on and it's not readable again. Um, but little things are fine, like if you wanted to uh, fill in the headings like that. then that's fine and I think that looks okay. Um, I wouldn't go with any kind of overly bright colours or anything like that because at the end of the day it is a test and they are testing you on your ability to um, present information in a clear and concise way. So that's what I would leave it as. I've seen that some questions come up and they ask you to convert decimals or general information into percentages and it's very simple. So first thing is you select the information that you want to change. Now these are in decimals and if I wanted to change them to percentages there's two ways I can do it. So I can go here and press general and then go down to percentage or I can just simply press percentage there and that converts it into a percentage for me. Um, if there were extra decimal places that you wanted to get rid of, you can switch either way. So that's adding them and that's getting rid of them. And I'll just do the same here. So you can see that it's um, just a matter of simply playing around with things. If you wanted to get really technical with it, you could format it as a table and it will come out for whichever one you select depending on what you want to do. You've got the option to do that. I mean I wouldn't necessarily suggest it because it's not showing your ability, it's more showing that you're able to use that function um, 
and what the examiner is looking for is your ability to do these things and how many things can you do within that software package. So I think that's fine. And then what you want to make sure you do is also just make sure everything is formatted. Anything that you need to merge, you can merge. So for example, if I wanted to merge um, a couple of cells here, I could just press merge and center. And then that would happen. I'm not necessarily sure if you would want that to happen, but it's just a case of when you needed to merge cells, that's how you do it. Uh, you can change fonts if you like, depending on how you want things to look. It's not generally something that you ever really need to do, but it's up to you if you did. And I think that's everything. Just to remember as well that if you're ever unsure of what something does, a um, particular button or function, if you just hover over it and then it will tell you what it does and just give you a quick explanation as to what um, that button will do. So before you actually click on anything, I mean there always is the option to undo up here, so don't worry if you do press something and you think it's, um, it's changed forever. It's not, you can just click undo there. Um, to undo your last function that you've pressed. But yeah, just, just do hover over um, and it'll give you a quick explanation as to what it will do. Okay, this video is about how to format a spreadsheet. Thanks.